want me to go What's good, Chicago? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy, Mike B. Back to talk to you guys about some Chicago Bulls basketball. As this is going to be my five bowl prediction for the Bulls for this upcoming season. So without further ado, let's get into the list. Number five, Zach Levine will represent the Chicago Bulls for this year. For the for this year All Star Game, last year was Demar Derozan. I think this year is going to be the year we see Zach Levine get back to being Zach Levine. We saw a glimpse of it last year, the second half of the season once he got back healthy. I think he's coming into the season real healthy. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's seen all the rumors about him getting traded to the Heat, to the Knicks, to the Lakers, all that good stuff. And I think he's going to come out here with a vengeance. Um, it will have a huge season. I can see him getting his scoring tip up to 25 to 26 points per game. Of course, five assists, five rebounds. Possibly getting close to that 40, 40 50, 90 club. Um, and I think the Bulls is going to be in that top five by All-Star game. And I think he's going to get some consideration to be an all-star, it's going to be tough. There's a lot of great guards in the Eastern Conference. But I think if the Bulls play their cards right, play some great basketball, Zach Levine could be representing us in this year's all-star game. And possibly we might get two, maybe him and DeMar, but I'm leaning more so Zach Levine because I think he's going to take that step. Uh, this year, bold prediction number four out of the the young guns, Patrick, Kobe, and Io. I'm going to say two of the three take a huge leap this year. Not seeing the third guy, which is Aya, who I, I don't think going to take a huge leap because I don't see him playing more minutes than Kobe unless Kobe get injured. But I do see Aya playing a, 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 a significant, significant amount of minutes. I think he's going to be solid as well. But I think Kobe and Patrick Williams going to be the two guys where we look at and say, man, they took a step, like, it really take a step, and I think these three young guys is really the key to elevate this Bulls core ceiling. And I think this year we finally gonna see those guys put the pieces together. We seen Kobe White uh, put the pieces last year together as far as def defensively, um, three point shooting being consistent, uh, playmaking. Uh, uh, you know, getting getting up and down the court running. We seen Patrick Williams put the pieces together as far as being a, a defender. A three point shooter, catch and shoot. Now we need to see him get more involved in the offense. Some plays run from him being a a, a better rebounder. We need to see seven rebounds, and I think we're going to just get that this year. Cause I think these two guys are going to play a lot of minutes in the second unit. I still believe Patrick Williams will be the starter, but I think Billy Donovan is going to utilize him with the second second unit most to try to attack other other lead second unit because let's be honest we got one of the best second units in the league kobe at the one i i mean uh alex caruso at the two you can go tory crib patrick williams and andre drummond uh, even like, like i said patrick williams still gonna be starting but still i think uh billy donovan gonna try to stagger minutes and but anyway, that, that second unit is still going to be one of the best in this league, uh, especially on the defensive end with that group. Pole position number three, Nikola Vucevic will average five-plus assists this year uh, for the first time in his career. I think the Bulls seen uh, watch what the, the Denver Nuggets done with Jokic, not comparing the two. Uh, Vucevic already say he's no Jokic, but they got similar skills, and I think the Bulls are going to utilize that more from food, especially with the team not having a really go-to point guard. I think it's going to be a point guard by committee. You're going to see DeMar DeRozan set guys up. You're going to see Vucevic set guys up. You're going to see Javon Carter set guys up. Maybe Zach Levine. I think it's going to be by committee, but I think Vooch is going to be the guy that really uh, 
that really hit it, hit the nail for us as far as playmaking because he got the skill set to do it. He can command the double team when he's cooking. Um, he's a great passer, so I think Fuchs gonna be the guy to really uh step it up as far as playmaking, and I think he's gonna get five assists, five plus assists for this this year. Bull prediction number two: the Bulls will finish top fifteen in offense, defense, and three point shooting. We already know what the Bulls uh, bring on the defensive end. They got, they got better tools this year and Tory Craig and Javon Carter. So I think top five is not unrealistic. I don't see them falling past top 10 because we've seen them have a great defense for the past few years with less. Now they got more. So I think they still hover around top five, no, no, no less than top 10. As far as the offensive side things go, I think it's going to be a really improved offense. I think they really going to come into this uh, this year with a free offense, uh, some something that can create shots, uh, in and out kind of offense where they can play inside with Vooch and play outside and still hit those uh, three-point shots. I think they're going to utilize Vooch skill set as you know, drawing, uh, double team, and kicking out to the open shooter to knock down those threes, which will help us out with the three-point shooting. Uh, so I think uh, we got the three-point shooting as well. Uh, Tory Craig, uh, Javon Carter, Zach Levine, I think DeMar DeRozan will take more three-point shots. Kobe White, I think Io DeSumo will improve. Patrick Williams, so we got the three-point shooters to uh, to make those shots. I think this year we will put those guys in the best chance to take them. I think we will finish maybe at the bottom half of uh, top 15 of, of this year. So I think the Bulls will finish top 15 in those three categories. The final bold prediction is that the Bulls will win 50 games. Um, I know I said I got the Bulls winning 45 games, but I think it's, if everything goes right with this team and they can fight through these adversities, whether it's a three-game losing streak, they can, they can snap back and get the and get back on the uh, the ship. I think it's a chance that they can win 50 games, especially with the Milwaukee Bucks and Boston Celtics being the number one, number two team. However, you want to you know put those teams. I think everybody else is really up in the air. Maybe Cleveland. I think they they still a good team. Uh, New York has shown they couldn't be consistent for you no know, more than one year. They have a great year and then fall off and come back to a great year. But I think they're gonna have another another good year. Miami Heat may take a step back. Uh, the Philadelphia 76ers may take a step back. The Brooklyn is a solid team, but they're not better than the Bulls. Same as the Hawks. So I think the Bulls got a chance to really come out and hit the ground running to get 50 wins. But it all, it all come down to them staying focused. Because last year we seen when adversity hit, they crumbled. And it wasn't until Patrick, Patrick Beverly came where when they did hit adversity, they, they bounced back. I think we got the the right leadership in this locker room to overcome those adversities. So that's my last bold prediction. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. Drop your bold prediction as well. And catch y'all when the season starts. Peace.